Can you explain how important it is to be upfront and open to your customers? All right, and I'll give you an example. They're shopping, you know, they're calling you, hey, Amy, yo, I see that shirt. And you know, you know, like deep down, you know, normally you probably wear extra small, but the shirt, you might have to get a medium. And this particular individual, she's probably big back in it. And you know, she wants to order the medium and she's a triple X small. So how is it important to be very transparent to your customers? It is important, and for me, I'm very transparent with my customers. Um, I just, I don't need, ju I don't need just your money, and I just don't need a sale, because at the end of the day, if it doesn't fit, they're gonna bring it back. And I sell you something as small when you're a large, you you bring it back. It's gonna be stretched out for the next person. Sure, so <laughs> I'd rather just be upfront and honest right there, and then like, uh, I, I don't really think that's gonna fit you or something, something like that, because. Like I said, I don't do refunds, so for me, it would just be, I, I, it's not that I just want your money. Right. You're gonna get a store credit regardless, but I'd rather just be upfront so you can come back. All yeah. Right. That's cool, that's cool. So we're gonna transition, I'm done with the questions. We got like a little quick game. But before we do that, I wanna shout out Iman's Closet. It's Y-M-O-N-N. E S closet C L O S E T dot com. You know, she takes after pay and she says the setup for court. What is it? Klarna. What is it? Klarna. Klarna. What is it? <laughs> what is Klarna, it? I thought it was quad Sezo. pay. Quad pay. Quad pay is yeah. the same thing as Klarna, yeah. <laughs> Klarna, I don't know. See, I don't even know these things. Um, but Sezo, yeah. um I, all the paying for options so you cannot go broke. Shipping worldwide. Ships worldwide, yep. So no with no delay. So, you know, that's the plug right there. And yep. check out her her Instagram. It's you know, she has all of the sample, she's like a Instagram stylist. She, it's all <laughs> set out for you. Wait, really quick, before I move on, I have one more question. How do you feel when, um, like if a one would pirate your outfit? Like, imagine you have on this today and you see a one's just, you know, in the same thing a few days later. It, it, does it do anything to you? Um, no, I wouldn't say it do anything to me. I feel like, um, that person was probably inspired to go put the same fit together and that's okay with me. Um, okay. It just shows that you're inspiration to people. So it doesn't really bother me. It's just like, all right, cool. All right, um, so we got some quick games. It's probably, we're gonna wrap up for really shortly. All right, so this game right here we're playing is wear it, toss it, or give it away. Okay. <laughs> All right. Prada, Fendi, or Burberry? Fendi. What you gonna do? Wear it, toss it, or give it away? Wear it. You gonna wear the Fendi? Um. And Burberry, are you gonna toss it or give it away? Or the give it away. Gonna Burberry, I'm gonna give away. Prada, I'm gonna toss it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna toss the Burberry. All right, the Prada. Okay, okay. Um, we got Tori Birch, Coach, or Mark Jacobs. Wear it, toss it, or give it away. Oh, um, Coach was the ish back in the days. And it's making it's a comeback. Making a comeback. Right? <laughs> See, Cardi B just talked about it. Um, so Coach would probably give it away. Okay. What was the other one? Tori Birch and Mark Jacob. Oh, no, 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 so let me take that back. Mark Jacob, <laughs> give it away. Coach I'll probably wear, and Tori toss it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know, I must admit, um, I shouldn't really, I don't normally give my opinion, but it's taken me some time to get used to seeing men um, wearing Coach, like, you know, I, I don't know, maybe because it was a woman's brand at a time, and then now it's kind of seeming unisexish. So it, it's taken some time for me to warm up to it. I'm probably right there with you. Um, I, I don't know, for some reason, 
on men, it's different. I don't, I don't know why. So I feel like I'm right there with you. Mm-hmm. It's nothing wrong with it, but I just cannot get used to seeing coach on men. You are right on target with that one. First, mm-hmm. in my mind, for some reason, it, it gives me um, Gucci vibes. The, the C's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, so then I the just replica. feel like it's, but it, yeah, I don't even feel and, the I know it, I know it's its bad. own brand within itself, but just seeing it on men is just different to me. Okay. All right. Guilty or not guilty? Tell a friend that they look good and they really didn't. Not guilty. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna tell you as it is. Like that. Don't, that don't look good. Go fix it. Like. <laughs> I don't, I don't want you to like be embarrassed um, when you go out right. when you go outside and then people talk they're gonna be like oh she look good and our friend look good she, our friend couldn't tell her X Y Z guilty or not guilty wearing an item and returning it after I haven't done that not guilty not guilty <laughs> okay. okay it's like what's that um two out of three. So two out of three guests today, <laughs> they were guilty, but you are the one that's not guilty. Really? Yet. Yeah. Um, this or that. So the name of this game, the final, well, no, I have something else. This game is called This or That. Online shopping or in stores? Online shopping. I'm a big online shopper. Okay. Uh, Prada or Fendi? Fendi. Okay, you're a friendly girl. Chanel or Louis Vuitton? Chanel. Okay, okay, okay. Celine or Gucci? I think I know this one. <laughs> Gucci. <laughs> yeah, kind of figured it. Da Vinci or Balmain? Oh, I love both. Okay, both. And I really one. love both, yeah. All right. Or Mary or Christian Dior? Dior. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like... Um, it's for men. Amiri? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's both, but I feel like I've seen more okay. of the cuter yeah, pieces. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. I didn't really have the thing. Okay, I can, I can see that. Um, oh, Fendi or Mac? Or Mac? Makeup. Oh. oh yeah, Fenty. Sorry. Oh, Fenty. Um, I'm a guy. I mix them. Yeah. So both. Okay. Both. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, heels or pumps? Oh, they're both the same. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> heels or sneakers? Heels for sure. Yeah, I'm a heels girl. You said heels girl. Jesus. <laughs> um, boots or sandals slash slippers? I'm going to boots you till I die. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I love me some boots. <laughs> um, Alexander McQueen or Lanvin? Um, probably Alexander. Okay. Uh, Bottega or Casablanca? Mm, I like both, but I pro- I, Casa has some cuter pieces over Bottega. Oh, I know this answer too. I think I do. Burberry or Versace? Um, Versace. I think, is it the colors? Probably the colors and Burberry is just too, it's just like the, the one pattern, the one style. I mean, they're trying to mix it up here and there, but it wouldn't be my first go-to unless it's something really different. Telfar or Marc Jacobs? Um, I haven't bought either one of them, honestly. So Mar- no, I, I don't own much of either one of them. I, I, I don't even know how to choose between both of them right now. Okay, okay. Uggs are- I've, I, I, no, I think I have one bag from Telfar, but not much. I probably would have more Mark Jacobs. Me as a guy, you know, the only thing I can probably say to it is maybe Telfar has the collabs type of thing mm-hmm. and Mark J. Probs would probably be a standalone. However, you ask the kids right now, I think they they're going to say Telfar, no? Might go because of the bags. All of them have that backpack now, so 
Yeah. yeah. And it's like And they're black bucks. owned, right? So I believe are they black owned? I believe so. I don't I don't buy much of them. Okay, okay, okay. Uggs or crocs? Uggs. Tory Birch Tory Birch or Coach? Coach. Day wear or nightwear? In what sense? Fashion, whatever um, you choose. Like our evening gown or like daytime look. Probably night. Summer wear or winter? Absolutely summer. I hate winter. <laughs> oh my God. Fall fashion or spring? Um, I love fall fashion. All right. This is the last segment. I know I keep on saying this and this one will be fairly quick. Um, these are uh, multiple choice questions. Mm -hmm. It's a trivia. <laughs> what designer never goes on sale? I think you're gonna know this. A Gucci, B Louis, or C Prada? Louis. Yeah. Can never get a sale out of them not, ever. Not a <laughs> Nothing. Um, which fashion? Which fashion designer was shot and killed outside of his office? A Versace. B, Bali, or C, Gucci? Isn't it Versace? Outside of his mansion. No, you said outside of his office, right? Yeah, I did. Is that where his office is? I don't know. A, Versace, B, Bali, or C, Gucci? I don't know. Well, you were right. Versace did get killed in front of his mansion. Right, but, but you said office, so that Gucci, threw me a... Gucci got killed in front okay. of his office. That I didn't know. <laughs> All right, um, uh, da, 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 nah, that's too complex. <laughs> uh, okay, no, no. All right, no, not that one either. Okay. I got one more good one for you. Let's see here. Who is the first black model to appear on Vogue Fashion Magazine? Peggy Ann Freeman, Naomi Campbell, out of those two. Um, Naomi? Uh, it was Peggy Ann Freeman. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she was there on the Vogue magazine in the 1950s. And Naomi, she was on the Vogue magazine in 1987. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, put these fashion houses in order. This is the last one. Which one do you think came first? A. Hermans. C. No, B, Cartier, or C, Louis Vuitton? Came first. Yeah, Hermans, Cartier, Cartier or, Louis, or Vuitton. Louis Vuitton? Um, Probably Hermes. Hermes, 19, 1837, Hermes was created. Cartier was 1847, and Louis Vuitton was 1854. Um, that concludes the interview. Um, I want you to shout out your social media where people can find you and follow you. And also, I want you to plug again your website where they can get the discount and hopefully we can get a, a discount code for you guys. Um, but yeah. Um, so I have two Instagrams. I'll give you the business one first. Business is always, always comes first. And that one's gonna be Iman's Closet. Um, that's Y-M-O-N-N-E-S-C-L-O-S-E-T. That's the Instagram. And that's also the website. It's imanscloset.com. So again, it's Y-M-O-N-N-E-S-C-L-O-S-E-T.com. And my personal Instagram is Pretty Fab Imi, short for Iman. So it's pretty, P-R-E-T-T-Y, fab, F-A-B, and the Emmys, Y-M-I, put it all together, so. Well, really quick before I let you go, um, who do you think, uh, or who would you recommend to do this podcast, um, if you could? 
you had anyone in your social media or your contacts, who would you say would be a good fit that you think I should? That has a business or no, just, just fashion just, wise? Just fashion sense. Um, well, you probably use her already, but my cousin Shika, she's really dope with the fashion world. Um, I think it just runs in the family. Um, yes, she does. So yeah, I would say Shika. All right, appreciate that, appreciate that. It wasn't so bad, right? <laughs> Wasn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got to see a different side of you, and I really do appreciate the time. And we look forward to sometimes scheduling again and having you back as fashion is always being pushed forward and it's evolving. And we want this space to grow, and this platform is always an open door for you. And I really, really thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs>